to Extremely Cosmic. So you might have realised that on my channel I've been working my way through all of my collections of things. I did a video on my record collection quite a long time ago and I recently did a video of my Monster High doll collection. Go and check them out on the channel, shameless self promo. For some reason you guys seem to like them videos so I'm going to do a video on all of my different Buffy the Vampire Slayer merchandise that I've got. Like all these types of videos I'm going to give you a little bit of background first. I was a little bit late to the Buffy the Vampire Slayer parade if you want to call it that. Obviously while the show was running I was being born. <laughs> I fell in love with Buffy the Vampire Slayer at the very start of 2016 and I found it on Netflix and I've been wanting to watch it for a long time. My friend, one of my friends at school had watched it and I know she'd watched it a long time before me but I still wanted to try it and it was this thing that I always wanted to watch but I never got around to watching it and then finally when I got around to watching it I literally became obsessed with it. Literally I was so invested in the series and I was so invested in the fan base and the characters and everything surrounding it. I was just so into it in every respect. So because of my big obsession with it obviously I collected a lot of merchandise and I have two shelves up yonder over there that have all of my Buffy stuff on them and I don't really like read the books or do anything with that just pointing with a stick usual stuff going on. It is still one of my favourite ever TV shows but obviously I have a lot more obsessions now to deal with along with stuff but I keep my Buffy shelves still there because I can't pop them I love them too much and I don't want to get rid of all of my display. I'm part of the Buffy the Vampire Slayer group on Facebook and a lot of people share like stuff that they've got to do with the show and stuff that they've found like rarities if they found them on eBay or something and I just find it really interesting to see what other merchandise people have so I guess I'm just going off what the people do and things and I don't know people might want to see what I've got I guess. <laughs> I must apologize I went to a meal the other night and there was these black balloons and I couldn't help myself but stealing them after the meal. Firstly the thing that you'll probably see me pointing with before was this steak which is the official Buffy the Vampire Slayer Mr. Pointy Plush. I got this one in Forbidden Planet in London I don't know how obtainable they are anymore but I got this literally in 2016 when I went to London and I was looking for one online earlier prior to going to London then once we went and I seen them in the flesh I was like I am buying it I've been looking for one for so long so it's very very soft it's kind of like a velvety soft it's just really soft but it kind of has the wood effect the second one isn't a licensed product but this is a magic box tote bag I've used this quite a few times and I guess people haven't really realized where it's from I guess people just aren't educated I got this on Redbubble which is that website where people can upload their own like designs and things and it's a really good website and this was I guess £10 I think it was. Next things I got this Christmas which is very very recent and these are three little bears. Obviously because they're a Christmas gift I don't know how much they were, I don't know where they were from. I do know that they are numbered and I think they're limited edition. They are limited edition, I should have just read the tag, you know I'm so stupid. Limited edition Buffy the Vampire Slayer collector bears. So this little green one is the willow bear so it has kind of willow written there and it has like a, I don't know, a witchy symbol? I don't know, I think that's a witchy kind of symbol. And then on the bag it says Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Also on the tag it has what number they are and that is of 10,000. So they are 10,000 of each kind I'm pretty sure. Little blue bear is the angel bear and that has the little symbol which is on the clad dag ring. Pronouncing that completely wrong. I'm not Irish. Don't expect anything out of me. This is the Buffy bear and it has a steak on there. I'm pretty sure that's a steak. It looks like a really weird steak. Um, and then it once again on the back and I really like this one. I really like the lavender kind of colour of that one. I just took off a bunch of the books and then literally everything on the shelf has fallen off. I'm guessing most Buffy fans have this. This is the Demons of the Hellmouth Guide book kind of thing and it's really really nice. It has a lovely texture to it. It's kind of like a leather but it's not a leather and inside it just kind of like has listed like every single demon that has ever been in the show with pictures and things and it's just such a cool book and it smells really new. Have I even read this at all? This is script book for season one volume one. It has six episodes of season one in it and you can go and look them up because I'm not reading them out. <laughs> it originally cost £10 but I literally bought it for about £2 on Amazon where you can do that uh, buy from more sellers and things so people are selling them second hand this is second hand but it's in very very good quality and obviously it's just kind of scripts I mean I wouldn't really act it out but it's very good I also have the script book for season one volume two which also has six episodes in it and once again is like the exact same kind of concept then I have this very special script book which I absolutely love because this is my favorite episode this is the once more with feeling script book and not only does it have the script in it but it also has kind of some pages with some colour pictures in it, which is very exciting to me. Uh, these are kind of just screenshots from the episode, but they're really, really awesome. 
and then also it has sheet music in the back just in case you're musically inclined which I am definitely not I can't play any instruments I went to a very small comic-con in my area that wasn't like an official comic-con but it was kind of just a local kind of comic-con and I got some Buffy the Vampire Slayer comics which I haven't read because I haven't honestly had the time and I'm a big reader of actual novels and I don't really dabble in comics but I just really thought these were cool this one is called Pale Reflections I'm not so sure about the weird pictures on the outside but the are colour comics and if anyone is a very avid kind of comic Buffy reader I know that they did a big series of Buffy comics. This one I have up on display on my shelf like behind my little bears because I really like the cover of this one it just has Buffy on the front but they are very very well drawn detailed comics and I'm sure that future me will have a sit down one day and say hey I'm gonna read that. I also have a Spike comic book which has a lovely like kind of embossed cover and I bought this because obviously Spike is like my favourite character in the whole series apart from Faith and Anya. I picked this up at a secondhand bookshop and this is a Buffy the Vampire Slayer novel it's based around Spike and Drusilla and I haven't read it once again. This was last year but also my neighbour came around and then my mum was talking to her and she was like oh Amy loves Buffy the Vampire Slayer so then my neighbour was like we have some books of Buffy the Vampire Slayer in the loft. She came round and gave me this little pile of books. Here's the first one, it's called Child of the Hunt. Obviously these are quite old, they're kind of yellowed. Once again, haven't read them. Do you want me to repeat that ever again? This one's called The Angel Chronicles. This one has an embossed cover and this one's called Sins of the Father. These are very dark names. And this one I bought on Amazon because Faith is one of my favourite characters like I just said. And this one has some little coloured pictures in the middle of it. I love a good coloured picture in a novel, like just excites me something about it. I've got me two CDs so I have the Buffy the Vampire Slayer the album which is based off season one and it has loads of songs from season one on. I've also got the Once More With Feeling album on CD and I really love the like CD in this one like look at how pretty it is and I've got my Funko Pops and this one is Buffy and she is absolutely adorable. Got a little steak and she's got like her normal little outfit on and it's so cute. I've also got a little Willow and this Willow is a little bit odd because she's got kind of one leg shorter than the other one which really annoys me when I bought her I didn't realize it but she's still really quite cute anyway and I've got Spike which I also got on my birthday in 2016 and he's really cute and he's got his little coat on and things and uh, yeah I really like this one pretty sure that they're vaulted now which means that they're discontinued which means they're um quite hard to find unfortunately I don't have their original boxes that's where I floor really I just chuck boxes out going back to books and things that I completely forgot about I also oh I have this SFX magazine which is celebrating 20 years of Buffy and I'm not sure where the article is but I got this because I seen it in my local shop and I was like yes I also have the Sunnydale High yearbook which I was super super excited about getting because it has like it's such a yearbook I mean obviously it's a yearbook but it's such a cool thing and um, and I really really like love this when I first got it because it's so cool so you've almost been to the school then probably one of the best Buffy books I've got is Buffy the making of a slayer the official guide and this one is just full of color pictures the whole thing is just color pictures and information about it. It's got behind the scenes, got little bits and pieces and it's really really cool for anybody who loves the show to you know read up on the kind of things that happened behind the scenes and things. And this one is a little weird one because my French teacher was clearing out a bunch of magazines that she had in a drawer. They were moving departments so I was in the class and she was moving these magazines. She was like does anybody want a magazine because I'm throwing them out and I was looking through them and there was weird ones like one with a Titanic on the front of it but then I saw this and I nearly screamed. <laughs> I don't think it's an official magazine but obviously it's very old. It's from 2000 and it's a French kind of little school kind of learning French magazine because it's got like a skateboard labeled there. Buffy contra le vampire. It's not got much about them in it but it kind of has some weird quizzes and things. I don't know I can read it and it's kind of a bit cringy and a bit strained. It's like your typical teen magazine. I also have my Buffy box set which is the whole series and this thing is super heavy. I've got the Angel box set and I honestly wholeheartedly say that I have not seen Angel and I know that's a massive shock because everybody watches Buffy then watches Angel and I just didn't have the time and then I just kind of give up watching it and kind of just didn't want to watch it. I don't know I just I didn't want to ruin things because Angel wasn't really my favorite character anyway he always got on my nerves and I just didn't really want to watch a series with him as the center of it and I know it's kind of the same concept but I just I just didn't want to watch it okay I swear I'll get around to it in the future. I will watch it in the future. And I've got Dollhouse, which I only bought because Eliza's in it, who plays Faith in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And I also got 
true calling just because Eliza's in it. She was like one of my favorite characters in Buffy and I really liked her and I thought she was a great actress. So I just thought like, hey, I like these concepts for a TV show. So I bought the other two and I haven't watched them. So I just don't have the time, honestly. Also in 2016, I went to Comic-Con in Glasgow and I cosplayed as Faith. Never in a million years would I think that I would say the words I cosplayed. I never thought that I would ever say that before. I cosplayed as Faith because I was going to meet James Masters who plays Spike on the show. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> There's a video on that on my channel, it's called Glasgow Film and Comic Con and meeting James Masters I think. Go and check it out, it has my whole experience and it has like me meeting him and how sweet he is and he's so nice. Can I just say he's one of the nicest people I've met. I've met quite a few celebrities and he is one of the nicest people. He actually like takes time with you, like he doesn't like rush past you, he's like, you know, very like he listens and he's very very nice and uh, yeah, just, just, just a thing to say. Thanks, Thanks, very, Thanks much. very much. So my dad made it his mission to make Faith's knife from Buffy and he literally made it for me. He made it out of this extremely light wood so it's literally as light as a feather and obviously we had to make it like that because if they suspected that I had a real knife that would be like pretty worrying. He literally carved it out of this wood and fixed it all together and it has like all of the details on it and all of the little ridges. He put 100% effort into this. He like hold it like this and I carried this around Comic Con on that day and also I met James Masters with it and he was blown away by this and blown away that my dad made it. Did you make this? I made that. Really? Yeah. Flip it forward. Then spread Better than the one we used to on the show. <laughs> my dad's friend made a stand for it so I can put it on my shelf, which is pretty cool. I got this for Christmas last year, which was 2017 Christmas. This is Anya in her kind of magic box outfit. So it has the magic box floor and she's got a little butterfly kind of crop top thing on, a big skirt. This also came with a little stand which is the counter in the magic box and a little till and of course a bunny because it must be bunny. This is Faith and she's not in Buffy, this is Faith from Angel but it's still Faith so like does it really matter. She's got a knife that I literally just showed you in my size. She's got this really elaborate setup and things and it's a bit dusty because it was on the top shelf. And I've got another Anya and this is the most ridiculous Anya I have ever seen because first of all she has a really cool necklace which is like on a little chain which I think is really good and she's got the magic box floor again and she's wearing this outfit and she came with a little bunny and wait for it, she came with a rabbit suit. This is from the episode Fear Itself, am I right? She goes on Halloween dressed as a bunny because that's what she's scared of. Um, this is a full rabbit suit. I tried putting her in this rabbit suit, but it doesn't really fit properly. You can't get the hat to stay on and this doesn't really cover all of her body and also like the little hole in her foot. She can't stand on her stand if she has this on. So it's a really cool outfit and it's super soft, but I can't really put it on her so she just like stands with it. The only other thing that's on the shelf is my meet and greet picture with James Masters. Also I've got an unlicensed little glass ball there, which is kind of one of those like fortune teller balls and it kind of just fit with the Buffy witchy kind of theme so I just kind of put it up there but it's not really a Buffy product so I'm not going to show you it. Then apart from some little magazine clip outs that I just found inside of a book that is my whole collection of Buffy stuff. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please subscribe to my channel I post new videos every single week and you can go and check out my other collection videos on my channel and obviously my Glasgow film and comic con video where I meet James Masters might be to your taste. I also made an extremely cringy video back in 2016 or might have even been 15. I can't really honestly remember when I I made this video but it's called I'm Addicted to Buffy the Vampire Slayer and I made that when I was in the heat of my addiction and it is insane and it's kind of a, one of those parodies of the I'm Addicted to series. So yes, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!